Jordy Davis, is this song game yet? What just happened in four minutes and seven seconds? Shit, mate, not at all. Nah, it's gonna. Uh, hopefully not the last, but yeah, this one's. This one means a lot. Yeah. And you almost PR'd as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a 406 PR. That, that must be the slowest PR of all time for a mile winner. Yeah. I mean, coming in, were you, were you thinking you were gonna win this, or was your opponent second race? I never even intended on running the mile at this meet. I was hoping to qualify in the 3K at Iowa. Uh, didn't pan out, so I just ended up in the mile and had to make the most of it. Yeah. But like, once you got in, once you were committed to running it here, what were you thinking about this meet? Uh, I was feeling pretty good. I mean, I was coming off an injury like three weeks ago and um, coming my first workout back off that. I was running 400s in like 67, so didn't exactly feel like a miler. Um, but just the last couple of weeks since conference, yeah, started to feel good and just wanted to give myself a chance, yeah, like everyone else. Have you always had that closing speed? I mean, yeah, I think in a way, in high school, um, where competition wasn't what it is in, uh, in Subway, I kind of found myself with some closing speed. But uh, since then, I've just, I mean, I've lost three seasons in a row with injury and I haven't really had a chance to use it. Um, but, yeah, that was fun. What was the injury you, had, you said three weeks ago you were injured? What was it? Um, just the, actually the morning I qualified the mile, I found out I had just stress reaction type thing in my second metatarsal. It swollen up a lot. Um, so I took three weeks off after that. The only run I did on the ground was the Iowa State 3K in three weeks. Um, but fortunately it came right at the perfect moment. Jordy, we've seen it so many times in, in cross country with you guys as a group. Everybody collectively getting ready you know, to run for each other. But I mean, obviously, this is a different animal, right? It's just, it's, it's just you out there. But I mean, obviously, I know that you're still running for those guys yeah. and for NAU. So what? Uh, I mean, uh, what does yeah. this mean to add this chapter to what you guys have accomplished the past few years? Yeah, I mean, indoor and outdoor. Obviously, it looks more like an individual sport, but no, shit, it's absolutely not. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do it without the support of my boys back in flag stuff uh, and hopefully I did them proud today and what, it, what, and what is it about just Coach Smith and the, and the staff and uh, the culture that just gets you guys so calm for, you know, for races like this right a lot of people are just coming in here freaking out like the worst possible scenario can happen and you guys are like why not the best case scenario yeah I mean it's just it's just full 100% support from our coaching staff uh, me and Mike Smith have been through some pretty serious setbacks um, me personally and uh, it's been a lot to come through, but shit, I'm so grateful to be part of what he's doing at NAU. Uh, it means a lot. So yeah. what, was, what was the biggest setback? Uh, I mean, where do I start? I've been, this is my 11th season as a lumberjack, and uh, I've been injured in all 11 of them, maybe five of them, season ending. Um, yes, yeah, so this means a lot to be running. Yeah. Yeah. What did Mike say to you after the race? Uh, <laughs> What did he say? Um, he just said, I. Well, he told me before the race, just trust your instincts. And uh, he told me afterwards that I did just that and he, I knew what to do. Um, yeah, I think he's pretty stoked. And when you qualified, were you, were you specifically trying, like, hey, I'm going to try and hit a qualifier for NCAAs, or was that just running a while for fun? Or what were you doing? No, I mean, we made a conscious effort to make it fast. We had uh, a pacemaker from just a runner in uh, Flag, which is. Um, I was actually mostly wanted to uh, try and break Diego's uh, NAU record, but uh, that didn't happen. Uh, maybe next year. But yeah, it was supposed to be fast. Yeah, our two conversions are real now. I mean, I'd like people to think so. If they're not convinced, um, they, they can come and flag. Do you think of yourself as a miler now? I don't know. Uh, maybe a little bit. I only ran 407. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to be able to do both. Thanks, Jordan. Congrats. All right.